How do you approach a client who wants a ridiculously loud master? That's a difficult one because there's there's two two sides to this. You get um, you get clients who want a ridiculously loud master. I mean, I've had clients who have sent masters like a reference master and gone right. Um, I want it to be as loud as this. I'm like that is minus two LUFS. That is ridiculously loud. Um, so the first thing to do in this sort of situation is is sort of educate and, and 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 get across the benefits of you do not need to be going up to minus two lufs bring that down minus nine if you want to go louder like we can go to you know minus seven minus five still ridiculously loud but i understand look here's the thing is i understand some genres they want to be loud right it's just a case of Go loud for the right reasons, and the right reasons should be that you know this is a club orientated track this is this is to bang in the club and if you're if you're aiming to put that on streaming platforms, it's not going to be beneficial so when I get a client who's who's like i want to go up to this loud i want to go really really loud I want to be the loudest you've ever mastered I go right okay um <laughs> sometimes I'll say look just just please don't put my name to that i don't want any association with that but i understand why you want to do it but what i'll do is here's here's a really loud master and here's also how i would have the master now you have both to choose from ideally in that situation and when it is for driving it home in a club use that one use that that minus 4 lufs version Use that for the clubs. Go take that to the clubs. Play that out. Hopefully, um, you'll you'll kind of understand. Okay, maybe maybe a little bit kind of quieter um, would be better. But you can you can figure that out for your for yourself. Having having two versions, one which is at the optimal kind of volume, um, one for the club. The other one, that's your release version. That's the one that people are going to want to listen to. That's the one people are going to want to stream, things like that. Now, on the other hand, you do get people who come to you and they go, right, I want minus 14 LUFS because I want to put it on Spotify. Well, that's not entirely true. That's not how you would deliver it to Spotify. Now, what you've got to understand with Spotify and all these other platforms is what they'll do is they'll, it's loudness normalization. So every platform will have this kind of um, LUFS value that they'll bring all their masters down to. And it's not a case of, I've heard people in the past go, yeah, but they apply compression uh, to bring it down. And no, it's just a case of bringing volumes down to each, so everything playing at, at a kind of the same level. Um, so you get this kind of continuity between the whole platform. And this is this is standard. This is standard of Netflix, it's standard of Amazon, it's standard of um, uh, Apple Music, it's standard of all platforms kind of have this loudness normalized set volume that they, they have every track set at. And that's that's great, but it does not mean, and it's, it's something that um, lots of people have kind of been misinformed about is that you have to deliver your song to that set, <clears throat> that set loudness. So you have to set it to minus 14 in order for it to go on Spotify. No, you can deliver and everybody, nobody actually delivers their masters or no person who's having their songs professionally mastered deliver their songs to Spotify at minus 14 LUFS because that's actually, for me, Look, I'm all for dynamics. I'm all for having a really nice dynamic song, but limiting done right, the right amount of limiting has a massive impact on the song. It, it can glue a mix together. It can it can make a master a hundred times better. It's it's a big factor when it comes to the finished product, um, taming peaks, squashing things down. We're not talking about going smash. Right, that's not. It's not beneficial. Taming peaks is is very beneficial. Um, so yeah, look, I I aim for when I master. I aim. I always aim for around minus nine LUFS. Um, it can, depending on the song, can go a little bit louder. Can be a little bit more dynamic if it's a more of a chilled song. So yeah, I mean, 
that's that's kind of I mean that is the yeah that, I mean that that's what I would say on this subject. 